<laughs> okay, that is weird. Hi! Um, I am home. Basically, I'm in my hometown where I grew up. This is basically the room I grew up in. In my back, you can see a bunch of posters. Uh, I'm filming with my phone, I'm filming in natural lighting, and I'm holding my phone on a bunch of books. Basically, I'm in my bed right now and I have a bunch of books in front of me holding my phone uh, high enough. Leaving all that aside, I just wanted to do a quick get ready with me. I'm going to be honest, I didn't pre-film stuff. I also missed one of this week's uploads, so I'm sorry for that. I'm just going to do something very casual. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay, I didn't even do my brows, which is pretty unusual for me. I usually come on camera with my brows already done. As you probably know, I'm using this Schwarzkopf gel for my brows. And I have like a little makeup kit here. Um, don't have a lot of products, but I do have the bare necessities in order to create a look. Which I'm not going to do like a full face. These days, since I did that base with just blush and concealer, I don't wear foundation that much. It also makes things a little bit quicker, which... Um, these days I really wanna just to enjoy myself, really, really, that's why I came here. So I wanted, I had this plan to come home in a while. At this point, no, nobody lives in this apartment, so like my parents left, my brother obviously left. Let me just take some brow gel. So yeah, I just came back, basically I'm alone here, and uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, I just have a weird time in my life right now where I... I feel like I want to connect with the things that I know I love. Basically, I had this time where I was wondering what makes me happy, basically. I just have some weird thoughts. I had a pretty bad depression in the past uh, months. So, a uh, couple of months, yeah, I think. Maybe even a little bit more, two or three months. Anyways. I just had these thoughts of what I want to do with my life, basically, how I want to live my life. Yeah, I just feel the urge to come back to the things that I know for sure I love, or the things that I just know, like this town. I grew up here and I feel like, I feel like this particular place shaped the way I am as a person. Whenever I come back here, I just uh, look at, I don't know, my drawings, my posters, and the things that basically define me as I am. So yeah, I wanted to come here for a little bit of clarity, a little bit of, of peace of mind, I think. And I have a friend, we were best friends in high school, and uh, I asked her, do you want to come home too? Because her parents still live here. Yeah, she said yes, so we're hanging out after work. I mean, working from home, so I have my laptop with me. We basically saw the entire town yesterday because uh, the town where I grew up is it's pretty small. You can uh, just walk from one corner to the other one and just see it in one day. Why do I keep going out of focus? I love uh, filming in this mode, it's the cinematic mode on my iPhone, but I keep going out of focus. I hope it doesn't happen that often. But I do love the quality. I feel like you can see my pores, which I am really into. I really love for people to be able to see my pores on social media. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> In a way, I just want to know myself on a deeper level, to really know who I am as a person. I was thinking, I don't know, what I love, what, what I enjoy doing, and what, basically, what makes me happy. This town is really nice because it's surrounded by nature, it's surrounded by forests, and um, I just want to go into the forest and just spend some time there, just breathe fresh air and meditate, basically just think about stuff that's been going through my mind recently. Since today is not raining, I'll be able to do that. I mean, the forest can get really muddy when it's raining, so pretty tricky to go in there when it's pouring outside. I was also thinking, for example, what's my favorite movie or just basic things like that. I don't even know what's my favorite color, to be honest. I don't know what's my favorite color, I don't know what's my favorite movie, and I have no idea what's my favorite song. And I want to know these things about myself. 
I don't know, I'm kind of spending the time to just be with myself and really think about these things. And um, I might have discovered my favorite movie, but I am not sure yet because I cannot decide. I just saw it a few months ago, even though it was released in 2017. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's Call Me By Your Name. It's uh, the gay romance. I basically rewatched it today, but like, I'm I don't ha really have the time to just sit and watch because I was at work. But in like little breaks, I would watch uh, pieces of the movie, and um, I don't know. It just makes me so happy. I'm over there basically watching the movie and commenting things. I'm alone, <laughs> like, so I'm basically talking to myself, saying like, this scene, mm, so beautiful. Uh, what I love about it is the surroundings, basically, the the atmosphere, if you want. The image is just, the, the visuals are so beautiful in that movie. And uh, also, what, what else? The music, the, the vibes, the artistry. I just love it. I don't know, it just makes me happy. I don't know if it's my favorite movie or not, but it's a great candidate. Uh, I also love Harry Potter. I'm like a Harry Potter fan, but I'm not I'm not sure. My favorite color? Absolutely no idea. I mean, I love all the colors, but I'm I'm like this with everything in my life. I love all the foods, I love all the colors, and I just am such a a sweet person but maybe too sweet of a person because like i love i like everyone i like everything i never uh i never comment bad things about anything i'm fine with like everything surrounding me and i i, I don't know i use the brow powder by anastasia beverly hills by the way i'm rambling i forgot to even mention that next i will apply a little bit of concealer even though i don't feel like i need to like yesterday i went without concealer with just cream blush and it was fine, but I don't know, today I feel like doing a little bit more, maybe since I'm filming. Probably you don't want to see me just applying cream blush and that's it. Um, so I'm doing a little bit more because I'm filming. This is the Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. Really, really beautiful formula. Just going to use my fingers for my base today. I'm also going to bring it down maybe around my nose a little bit. I just reapplied my sunscreen like maybe half an hour ago and I have a little bit of peeling going on. We'll get over that. <laughs> the posters behind me, I have two Ed Sheeran posters. One here and one there. <laughs> I have two Ian Sommerhalder posters for some reason. I don't know why. One here and one there. I mean, I do know why. Hey, focus on me. <laughs> it's basically just because he's handsome. Like, I have no other reason to put Ian Sommerhalder there. I haven't watched The Vampire Diaries, even though this poster is him in The Vampire Diaries. I have not watched that show. And um, I have watched Lost, though. He's, he plays in Lost as well. That poster has a little bit of meaning, but this one doesn't, really. <laughs> then I have a Supernatural poster right here with Dean and Sam Winchester. I just, I love Supernatural. I watched the entire thing. <laughs> Uh, a Jon Snow poster. <laughs> Fun fact, Jon Snow has the same personality as I. I'm f I think that's what the fans voted, because I don't think Jon Snow took a personality test. I'm just going to use a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes. It's the INFG personality. Yeah, that's what- that's- that's me. And that's Jon Snow as well. <laughs> If you do know your personality type, please comment down below because I've sent that personality test to like every person that I know. I just have a thing for that lately. So I would love to know your personality as well. <laughs> then I'm going to use my third product of the face, which is the Cream Blush by Fenty in the shade Crush on Cupid. It's just very pink in the pan, but it looks beautiful once you apply it. These are my products basically these days. A concealer, powder and cream, and cream blush. So... It just creates the perfect summer base for me. Just gonna blend that in. I just love this mode on my phone. I think I'm going to switch to my phone for filming and not even use my camera at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see how it looks on computers as well because on the phone it looks great but I don't know how it looks on 
a laptop for example that is my base glowy natural love it <laughs> i'm gonna have to apply a little bit of eyeshadow primer this is the urban decay primer potion just something that i never skip because usually eyeshadow creases on me not because i have oily but because i have deep set eyes and i i don't know my eye folds right there and though it creases in that particular spot I don't even feel like doing much to my lids, but obviously I'm gonna do something. What I have with me this uh, Revolution Iconic Fever palette, which I'm gonna use. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take this shade on my finger. This is the lightest shimmer of the palette. And uh, where's my mirror? My mirror is just basically my bronzer's mirror. Anyways, I'm just gonna pat that all over my lids with my finger. Oh, the way I would do my makeup if I wasn't filming, things would be... I would keep things like very simple, basically. <laughs> well, I think it depends on the day, but like most days I would be like pretty basic. I would take a crease brush, a blending brush, a more... A, this is a Dress Place 007. And I'm gonna pick up this shade. I haven't used many shades. Well, focus. Uh, I was saying that I haven't used many shades of this palette, but I basically used this one, and this one, and I think this one, and that's it. <laughs> I reach for the same shades all over again, but this is like my perfect transition for my skin tone, so obviously I'm gonna reach for that one. I'm gonna start the application from the other corner of my eye, and then basically I'm just going to blend whatever is left in my crease. And kind of blend it outwards like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and apply it on my lower lash line. This style of filming just makes me... just makes me happy, it's just so chill. Oh, well, I'm going to take this... did I say this brown? I think I'm going to go for this brown. <laughs> uh, just going to pick it up on a small brush, a Morphe M14... 147? It's the 149. It started to fade, and I hope I won't forget what number this is because I use it like all the time. I'm just gonna pop this into the outer corner of my eye, just close to my lash line, and kind of fade it towards the center of my lid. It's the center of my lash line, actually. <laughs> this is my most basic eye look ever. I do this, I can do this in like every color, it's just that I need something a little bit darker on the outer corner of my lash line and then shimmer on my lid and then a transition in my crease and that's my, that's my look basically. That's cute. What if I just use the leftovers right here on my lower lash line as well? I think this is like my most casual video ever and I love it. <laughs> Now for the lashes, I will curl them first with a lash curler. Really get in there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the On The Rise mascara from NYX Cosmetics. I came here two days ago and I feel like my mental health is already a little bit better. It's not that I'm sane, I'm still kind of not, but... Uh, I don't know, I feel a little bit more chilled somehow. I just don't stress about things as much. Yeah, I, I just love this place. I feel like this is my... I feel like this is my favorite place on Earth uh, so far. I mean, I haven't seen that much, but I. Uh, this just makes me happy. This just makes me feel... This apartment, like, it's it's so old and it needs renovation so bad, but nobody lives here so... There's no point in investing in that. But this apartment makes me feel so much like myself. I uh, cried here. I uh, drew here. I... Uh, I don't know. This is where I became me. I don't know. It has such a big emotional value for me. Okay, I have lips to do now. I feel like... I look like I have a filter on, I don't, I swear, but it's almost golden hour and that light just makes everything look more perfect. 
Okay, I'm using the Boys and Bears lip pencil in the shade Naked. I was just checking what shade this is. I want the Butter Nude. Don't I, don't I have Butter Nude with me? You know, the little, like the tiniest pencil that I have because it's almost finished. No, I don't have it with me. But this is pretty tiny as well. That, that one, the Butter Nude is even tinier. I need to get lip pencils. But like I still have some uses left out of these. I think it's the Taurus in me. It's a little bit more practical in that way. But this shade is so pretty. A light nude. It's kind of pinkish, but like not quite. I don't know, I just really like it. And I'm talking like it's the first time I use it. I used it. But I love when I see things in like different lighting, different setups. I feel like I have new makeup. Okay, I think that's it. Well, let me apply this YSL Rouge Volte Shine in the shade 60. It's like this peachy color. Very beautiful for summer. And that's my look. That's it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this random chatty get ready with me. It really felt good just sitting down here and just chatting. And uh, if you did watch the entire thing, thank you so much for listening to me. It really means a lot. I feel like I'm so boring most of the time, but if you're listening to me, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to head out. Hopefully go into the little forest today because it's a little bit sunnier. I think the ground has already dried. I hope so. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you feel well and your mental health is good and everything is fine and you are happy. I really hope that. <sighs> well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!